Hey guys, Dan Buchan back here. Welcome to day six of my Shopify A to Z tutorial. So right now we're starting off in our apps dashboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into Printful because today I'm going to be showing you how to set up um, print on demand products with your store. So let's go ahead and create a new Printful account really quick. We'll go ahead and create that. Um, and OK, great. So it just synced our data and it's going to go ahead and put us into the Printful dashboard. And in just two seconds, I will show you exactly what we'll need to do. So right here, we're in our Printful dashboard, right? You can still see we're also in Shopify. We're just in the Printful app. So let's go ahead and let's do add product. Now, as you can see, Printful already offers us a bunch of different options. So let's go ahead and uh, let's pick one. So the most popular, obviously, is T-shirts. So let's go over to clothing slash apparel. And let's go ahead and do men's t-shirts. So let's see, they give us a bunch of options. They give us some popular ones. Uh, next level, what does that mean? Oh, I guess it's just the brand. Okay, so we have Gildan, we have Bella plus Canvas. Now right now I'm really just looking for the cheapest cheapest options. Um, looks like they're all ranging from 13 to $15 each. Some even going as high as $18. So let's go back into all and, um, hmm. Let's just go with the American Apparel then for now. So then you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna get the option to actually choose what file you want printed on your t-shirt. So I went ahead, I quickly mocked up a little file. You can obviously have, um, you can have uh, a designer actually go ahead and do that for you. You can hire one off Fiverr or Upwork or Dribbble or really any uh, freelancer network. So right away, before I upload my designs, Printful makes, wants to make sure that these designs are mine, right? That I have full rights to these designs. Now, make sure you're not uploading other people's designs because that's how you get copyright issues. And really, you want to stray as far away from that as you possibly can. So let's go into uh, I accept and let's go ahead and let's choose our image. So it's going to be in desktop and let's see. Perfect, right here. So again, just something I quickly doodled up. Nothing really that great. Um, again, this is more for educational purposes. So let me just show you how this all works. So again, we can just make this bigger just like we can in Photoshop or any photo editing software. So let's go ahead and place this in the center. Now you can actually go ahead and just click this button and it will place it in the center of the t-shirt. Now we don't want a back print file, so we're all good with that, and we're good with the front print. Now we can actually go ahead and choose what t-shirt colors we want this design printed on. So we can do cream, we can do turquoise, no, we can't do turquoise, we can do sunshine, we can do pink, we can do lemon, which is kind of the same as cream, but well, we can also do green, looks pretty good. Um, silver looks good too. Purple, uh, not bad actually. But we'll take out purple. You know, we'll still we'll stick with the uh, lighter colors. So okay, cool. So we have these, uh, you know, six seven colors, and let's go ahead and let's move on. So again, it gives us a preview for every single uh, every single file. Now it's telling me that my file is not big enough to fit this uh, criteria. So let me just really quick pause this let me make the file bigger and i will be right back I drupled the size of the image this time let's go ahead let's remove it let's add it again now hopefully this will be the last time that we have to do this so we'll go into here and let's go ahead and let's let that upload and then let's choose the image perfect so it's already full size and it's good so let's go ahead let's make that a little bit bigger And let's center that so it looks great now. So, okay, awesome. So everything's all good, no more issues. Let's go ahead, let's proceed to pricing. So again, you can go ahead, you can edit the name of the of the products. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna name it I Love Tea So Matcha Tea, right? Or we can do T-shirt. In fact, we can even do um unisex T-shirt because that's what it really is. Then description. And we can go right before this, you know, generic description. We can write, do you love tea so matcha spread your matcha love with 
the world. And that's all we have to write. And then we can go ahead, we can keep this, this American Apparel t-shirt is the smoothest and softest t-shirt you'll ever wear. But whatever, blah, 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 it's all good. So, um, hold on, give me two seconds. And we're still in the, uh, in the Printful dashboard, so let's go ahead and let's just recap what we did. So again, we added the product title, we added this part in the description, we kept the rest of the description the same. Now let's go ahead and let's change the prices. So as you can see, Printful gives you a lot of options, well not a lot of options, but it gives you the option to actually go ahead and set what profit you want to uh, to receive per t-shirt. So it's telling you right here that the Printful price is uh, you know, $14.85 to $17.85. And it's telling you that if you want to make a $10.10 $10 cent profit, you're going to have to price it at $24.95 to $27.95. Now keep in mind you're getting... Um, you're getting a variation of numbers because again you're going from size extra small to 3XL. So again you'll get a variation in sizes as well as a variation in price. So let's go ahead and let's say I want a profit of $15, right? So let's go ahead and set that to 15. So now you can see that our shirts are priced at $29.95 or $29.85 for the extra small and $32.85 for the 3XL. So again let's go ahead and uh, let's keep scrolling. So now we have product visibility, right? Publish product. So obviously we want our product to be published. Now we can actually go ahead and select the home page. So let's just do or select the collection and let's go ahead and select home page. So let's go ahead and submit that to our store. And it's going to generate the print files and the mockups. And it's just going to go ahead and just like Oberlo, add it straight to our store's products. So let's go ahead, let's add another product. So Let's say I want to do mugs, right? Because this is a perfect for the T niche. So let's go ahead and let's choose the file again. Let's choose this one. Um, now it's telling you where do you want the uh, the image to be placed. So we can go ahead and place one right here, right? Which will be uh, towards the center of the mug. Or not the center. This will be towards uh, one of the sides. And then let's go ahead and let's actually see if we can. Uh, yeah, perfect. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So let's go ahead and let's move that back here. And let's go ahead and let's bring that to the uh, center. So let's go ahead and let's choose a second file and we'll do the same exact one. Um, now, for some reason... Oh, okay, cool, I see. So let's go ahead and bring this over to this side. And just like that. Let's go ahead and make this a little smaller. We'll make this one a little smaller as well and let's go ahead and again set that to the middle so boom really not much to it we'll move this one over a little bit we'll move this one over a little bit doesn't really matter if they're uh, past the lines it's just that we want to design so let's go ahead and again set it to the middle and that's pretty much it so again let's go ahead and let's uh no we don't want that Oh, did I just mess it up again? I did. So, again, we'll keep that there. Keep that there. I wish you there was a way that you can make them both the same size. But, unfortunately, you can't. So, we'll keep it just like this for now. Let's go ahead and proceed to uh, pricing. Again, we'll call this the um, I Love Matcha Mug. Or, I Love You so matcha um, then we can go ahead and again we'll write uh, spread your matcha love with the world and again we'll go ahead into prices and say we want another uh, $15 profit right so we'll go ahead and set 15 and let's go ahead and also add this to the home collection so it's really that easy. Now let's go ahead and let's add one more product. Now I would like to do pillows, right? So let's go ahead and do a square pillow with stuffing. Let's go ahead and choose this design again because, um, I don't know, I feel like a pillow would be a cool little add-on. So again, uh, zipper and stitch color, we'll do white, perfect. Let's go ahead and proceed to pricing. Um, again, we'll write share your matcha love with the world and then we'll write 
I love you. Hmm. Yeah, it's like this. I love you so much. Throw pillow. And um, perfect. So again, we want the fifteen dollar profit. It's gonna be a thirty two dollar retail value. And one more time, let's add it to our home page. So. As you can see that we have added two products already and now it's uploading the third product. Now let's go and let's see the products in the actual um, categories. So let's go, it's gonna be I love you so much. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna view the mug first. Let's go ahead and press view and let's see what this looks like. So again, the mock-up came out awesome. It looks like a legit mug. Look at that, wow. So again, you get a nice look of how the how the cup looks, just like that. Awesome. So again, and also you have two sizes: you have the 11 ounce and the 15 ounce, uh, which is really really cool. Now let's go back into home. I believe we have the home collection up. Maybe. No, we have the best sellers, right? So let's go back into products and let's go ahead and view the other two. So again, we'll go into the I love matcha. So let's view the pillow. Let's view the t-shirt. Okay, so this is the pillow. Again, the, the mock-up comes out nice and clean. Um, very nice you know, description. Everything else is really great. And again, it's just that easy to create a custom product so now let's go ahead let's view the t-shirt and um okay cool so it gives you the t-shirt and then it gives you a bunch of options so again and the best thing is it actually links the colors to the options so check this out so lime you'll see a lime photo lemon you'll see the lemon t-shirt pink you'll see the pink t-shirt baby blue boom it's really not much to it and it actually looks really really great again we have large medium we have all the way from extra small to 3xl and the price changes accordingly remember because we want to keep that $15 profit so again it will change accordingly to whatever size the uh, the shirt is so 2xl is a little bit more expensive 3xl is a dollar more expensive and so on so again guys that's really that easy to add custom products now let's go and see let's actually see what uh what other products Printful offers. Now, don't get me wrong, Printful is definitely not the only print-on-demand uh, application that links with Shopify, but it's by far the easiest to use and by far the, um, the one that I've had the most success with. So again, we have, um, these are all the rest of our products. Let's go ahead, let's add a new product. Um, let's do, so again, they have phone cases, leggings, totes, pillows, we already did. They have sublimated sublimated socks, which means that uh, it's all over print. Then we have dresses, skirts, um, all over shirts, wall art, mugs. Let's go ahead and do a phone case really quick. So this is going to be the um, iPhone 5 through 6S. Let's go ahead and choose the file. Again, we'll choose the same one. Make it a little smaller. I love tea so matcha. Um, then we can go ahead and... Okay, if only we can get it like this. Or we can even do it like that. That looks pretty good. So we'll keep it like that. Let's go ahead um proceed to pricing again we want uh we want a fifteen dollar profit not a five dollar fifty so let's go fifteen and now our price is twenty seven forty five wow that's a little expensive for a phone case but again this is for educational purposes so let's go ahead and submit that to our store and again all it's going to do is it's going to generate the um the files and it's going to easily and seamlessly add it to our store so let's go ahead and let's wait for that. And it's already added. See how quick that was. So we'll go back to products and we'll go into the iPhone 5S or we'll go into the iPhone case. And again, let's go ahead and let's view this. Again, the mock-up looks great. We have the options for the 5C, the 6, uh, whatever it may be. Um, and the phone actually changes accordingly, which is really cool. So again, this is the 6, I believe. Um, so right this is the 6s this one's the 6 and 
this is the 5S or the 5 through the 5SE. So again, guys, it's really that easy. You can see great, great success by using Printful, by using Print On Demand, because again, you don't have to wait those long times, for, uh, long shipping times from China, and it's still drop shipping, meaning you don't need to ever hold any any product or any inventory. Really, all you need is a simple design, and you can go ahead and create. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven different uh, products with one simple design. Let's just try leggings real quick. So all over leggings let's choose a file let's see what happens oh, okay so hmm. yeah okay looks like you'll have to know what you're doing so um no it actually looks pretty easy so it looks like this is the extra small and this is the extra large uh this is the front and back side so i guess you would just put in a nice design that uh Oh, and you get to do a nice uh, inside label, which is really cool. So again, you can private label them. So again, with Printful, you have the option to create 11 unique uh, products with 11 unique designs or even one unique designs across 11 products. You know, whatever you want. But again, it's really great because A, you don't have to hold any inventory. B, you don't have to wait the long shipping times from China. And C, it's still print on demand, meaning you only have to, uh, you know, you can order them one by one. You don't have to order a whole bulk. So, again, guys, you can have great success with print-on-demand products. You can sell them on uh, Etsy, on Amazon, on, you know, specifically your, or especially your Shopify store. You can really sell them anywhere. So, again, I hope you guys have found this video very useful. If you have, please do me a favor, subscribe to me, leave me a comment, leave me a like. Let me know what you like, maybe what you disliked about my videos. Uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I wish you the best of luck.